last night had a dude ask me, and this was at a gig, so you don't work, right? Well, yes, I work. I'm a musician, full time. I get where he's coming from, because to most people who don't play music for a living, being a musician is just, you know, you're in the couch all day, strumming your guitar, plucking a song out of the air, and then you go on stage and you get paid for it. That's not how it works. But the truth of it is, being a musician is a ton of work. A ton of work. And it's so weird that people don't consider it as work. If you think about it, never mind the countless hours you put in perfecting your craft and learning songs and making sure everything sounds good. When you're a full-time musician, you gotta hustle. You don't really ever get to a point where you just sit around all day and wait for the phone to ring so that you get booked for a gig. That happens sometimes, but not a lot. When I'm not playing guitar, I am doing administrative stuff for my website. I'm doing marketing for the gigs that are coming up. I'm working on my guitars, making sure that they are playable and they are reliable. Like what I'm doing right now, I'm changing my own strings. I work on lesson plans for my students. I figure out what to shoot next for my videos on YouTube. I shoot the video, I star in the video, I edit the video, I do all that Photoshop work. <laughs> it's a ton of work. And it's just funny for people to assume that because you're a musician, you don't work. I'm not gonna lie, it's a great, w well, it's a fulfilling way to make a living. It's not a great way to make a living because it really is it, it really is a hard life. But I'm blessed because I have the support of my family, full support of my wife, and I have the support of people uh, like you who've joined me in this uh, broadcast. Without you folks, this would not be possible. Because I moved to the U.S. in 2006. Of course, when you re relocate to a, a place, there's a huge adjustment that one needs to make. And maybe in a fit of weakness, there was one time where I really wasn't doing anything. I was, I was depressed. And I was speaking with my wife and I told her, maybe I should just get a day job somewhere. And she got angry. <laughs> she said, well, if you're going to do that, let's just go back to the Philippines. That way you do what you're supposed to do. You don't take on whatever it is that will distract you from your path in life. And that was the best wake up call I ever got from anybody because I firmly believe that I'm here to play music and taking on a, like a, a day job would have distracted me from it to the point where it would have taken over and I would have just quit guitar all altogether. Which in itself is a very scary prospect. Not fun at all. That was from my wife. That is why I love her so much. <laughs> Shortly after that I got I got my bearings and things started happening and I managed to put things together and get the ball rolling. I am a full time musician. This is my job. If you love your work, then it doesn't feel like working. Although I will say that you, you don't love your work all the time. <laughs> I guess that's, that's the same for any, any field, I guess, you know? Because if your passion is law, when you're in it and you're cooking, you're gonna love what you do. But then there are times that sucks too. So it's not rainbows and unicorns. <laughs> So, probably the next thing you're wondering is, how do I make it as a musician? If you work hard and be exceptional, then that's how you're gonna make it. And you don't have to be a virtuoso either. What, what you need to be is smart. If you can play decently, the only other thing you need is a good head on your shoulders and probably good intuition. First off, what you need to put in your mind is, music is not free. It is not free. It is your livelihood. It is not free. The so-called free concerts, if the musicians aren't getting paid, everybody else is. So you have a free concert at the park, assuming there are food booths there, those booths are gonna get paid. The sound system is gonna get paid. There is a rental uh, for the park, so the city is gonna get paid. The organizers are gonna get paid. So why shouldn't the musicians be paid? If it's a really good 
act. They're the ones who are gonna make people stay. Now, the reason why there's some free music is because some musicians agreed to play for free, which sucks. Let's say, uh, I don't feel right charging because I'm, I'm an amateur. If you're a good amateur, you should charge anyway because what you're doing is you're, you're making it worse for the rest of us who do this for a living. So keep that in mind, music is not free. For every free music download that you get, there is money being paid to the recording studio that, that where it was recorded in. There is money paid to the software used to record uh, that piece of music. There is money paid to whoever's hosting um, that file for download. So why should music be free? It's, it shouldn't be. Imagine this. I will paint the scenario. So we're at a party. This is something we hear a lot. What do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a musician. Oh yeah, I'm a dentist, but my passion is music. In fact, next week, and I'm gonna have a jam at my house. Maybe you could come along. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna switch roles here. So let's say I'm hosting a party and I ask somebody, what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a dentist. Oh, that's great, I'm a musician. But uh, dentistry is my passion. Oh, in fact, next week I'm gonna have a root canal party in my house. Can you come? Show me, show me a thing or two, you know? It'll just be for a couple of hours. How do you think that will go? <laughs> uh. Okay, music is not free. It's a business. It's not evil to think of music as a business, you know. Um, there's a lot of Filipinos who go, ah, business-minded kasi yan eh. So? Like I said, this is my livelihood, you know. I gotta pay for all this crap. If your livelihood as whatever profession you're doing is a business, then why can't music be a business? This is my profession. You're not a bad person if you want to get paid for doing what you're doing. Anyway, so it's been fun. This has been Perf Talk. Feel free to uh, like and share this video. See you guys soon. Okay, bye.